Hey everybody, I'm Sue. I'm Bob. And we're Good Times RV. Not having such a good time. So we woke up this morning to no water. Called emergency numbers, no answer. No answer. Answering machine at the office. What is going on? So, <laughs> guess where we are? We are at Countryside RV Resort in Apache Junction, Arizona. Right. And resort being the key word. <laughs> yeah. It's anything but a resort. It is. There's we'll show you pictures of how close everything is together. We, yeah, we literally our our slides are literally four inches from our neighbor's uh carport. Inches. Inches. I, we can't walk between there at all. I, I can't even imagine um them putting park models in these narrow narrow sites and to back into this spot we told them we're 40 feet long this spot is 40 feet it's exactly and there's <laughs> there's no room to play on the sides i'm a former professional cdl truck driver with many 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 years experience and it took me an hour to get this thing just right in this spot where the steps would go down and, and the, the slides, slides would, would open, open without hitting their house next door that's how close it is. And then on the back side, there's a telephone box. You can't get back too far. That's going yeah. out, you know. So this thousand trail thing and Encore. Right. So this is an <laughs> Encore slash thousand trails park. Yeah. Um, and when I booked it, the only pictures that you see online are the pictures of the pool area, which yeah. is beautiful. But and there's there's a few photos of like the library and the workout room and all of that. But it's all locked up. Everything. Even, even the bathrooms are locked. They have padlocks on them. Nothing's open. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> it kind of boggles the mind yeah. because the bathrooms are open Monday through Friday from 8 to 8. Yeah. I think they said. Oh, no, Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday, so 8 to 8. People don't have to go to the bathroom on Sunday. Here but they're closed on Sunday. <laughs> So, with padlocks on the outside of the door, which is really odd. Yeah. Um, so, we woke up today, which is Sunday morning, to no water. Yeah. We're in an RV. We can't flush the toilet so like or idiot, just I manufacture walk, water. I figure I'll walk up the street to the bathrooms. No, padlocked locked off. The pool's got a chain around the gate. You can't get yeah. in there. You can't Even get the in pool's the, closed on can't Sunday. can't get in the clubhouse. They have a billiards room. Can't get into that. The laundry's locked up. The, everything, it's like... It's like it's abandoned almost, except there's a lot of people here living here, you know. Yeah, but and there's a lot of people living yeah, here. Yeah, there's no management. If you call the, like when water was running down the street because they had a, apparently a broken main, tried calling the emergency number, the maintenance guy, the Nothing. office number, the park ranger, the everybody, and nobody answers their phone. Nothing. Nobody. So, um, we've become kind of friendly in the last few days with some of our neighbors and one of our neighbors is a resident here and they made that choice willingly um wanting to make this their permanent home mm -hmm. um and were sold the property and the whole nine yards to the agreement now it's my understanding that they had a manager that wasn't a successful manager and has resulted in his reassignment or dismissal but some of the things that they were complaining about, and I have a letter that's dated the 12th of October um, of and this year, right? of this year yeah. and who it was going to at the Equity Lifestyles Property West. All right, Mr. Ron Bruce. So in this letter, it states all the things that these people are ha are being subjected to not to mention the locking of all of the gates around the pool except one yeah so elderly people have to walk all the way around yeah if uh, something were to happen in that pool there's a lot of people that couldn't get out there's of there only one way out only one way out yeah. um they haven't reopened any of their facilities i'm told that yeah. the office has been completely remodeled and plexiglass installed but the door's not open now, the whole town of Apache Junction is open. People are social distancing. Open. They're wearing their masks. Yeah, we wear you masks, follow the rules. Mask and gloves when we go out. 
I even had an eye doctor appointment close up the other day. I wore my mask and my gloves, nothing's, but they say their office is closed because of COVID. Well, what? It, social distance and wear, have force people to wear masks. That's, that's what everybody else is doing. I, I'm not sure what's going on here. I think that they're, they've got so many sites that are paid for year round. Yes. That they could care less. They could care less. And they, show and they keep the their... amenities closed. Yeah. Now, this wasn't the most expensive place to stay here in the Phoenix area. It's not cheap, though. But I mean... it was still uh, $717 plus tax, and um, there you pay for your own electric, which is pretty common paying it's for your own common. electric. Yeah. But there are price ranges in this valley that go anywhere from 500 a month plus your electric to over a thousand dollars a month. So we felt pretty good picking something kind of middle of the road. Well, I have to say I'm very disappointed. The pool area is beautiful, but you can't get in it when you want to yeah. because it's padlocked. And I, I just find that so strange that you can't talk to anybody in the office. Nobody. There is no one here. So total frustration, um, gates locked, nobody answers a phone there's ever. There's gates out front, so uh, even yeah. if the fire department had to drive in, they've got to stop and look up a code. Punch in the, the code <laughs> to get in and save you. Yeah, even the dog park is locked off. Yeah, so there's, <laughs> so there's three gates out the back of the property that are supposed to be considered the dog run. Yeah. All three gates are locked. <laughs> I'm not understanding it. And um, when we read through the rules that you have to accept if you're going to stay here, um, there, it's covenants like in most places. And it's things like no hoarding a bunch of junk and it's got to be clean and neat. Oh, and We'll show you a picture of somebody that's a hoarder down on the other end. I mean, their whole lot is nothing. It looks like a flea market. And all I can figure is they live here or they're touting some kind of special right yeah. to have all their yeah. crap. Because they have all a over lot the of place. junk. And the park allows it, allows them to do it. But nobody else. But nobody else. Everybody else is. And the thing about it is the people around us are so nice. So nice. Oh, my gosh. The people you'll ever want to meet. And I know their frustration is through the roof about yeah. a thousand and they trails keep, and on. And they keep raising their, yeah, I guess it's their rent. $200 a year they've raised. Yeah. Them. That's ridiculous. And um, I, I'm just flabbergasted. So Encore, Thousand Trails, you are on notice. We will no longer stay at another Encore right. or Thousand Trails. Total thumbs down. Yeah. Down, down, down. And if you get this is the to, worst example of their property. To buy a membership, run the other way. Well, yeah, don't I, buy it. Don't buy it. Don't even if some. We were offered one from some guy. He said, "I'll sell you mine for five hundred dollars right now." I just he just want, wanted out just of it. Out, and I said, "Well, if you want out, why would I want in?" Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what the hey? Yeah. So, so anyway, you want to read that letter that the residents wrote? Well, um, I'll read part of it, like an excerpt. So. Um, this is in reference to the previous manager and the residents in their 70s, 80s, and 90s. There are three entrances and exits to the pool. Two of those exits are locked at all times, one with a log chain and padlock. And those residents living on the south side of the park must walk all the way around the entire hall and shuffleboard office areas to access the pool through the only unlocked gate. The pool heater, which uses LP gas, is next to the only gate entrance open to the pool. So if there's a fire, uh, everybody would be trapped in there. And what are these people gonna do? Climb over the wall? I mean, really? So is their question is, is this Encore ELS view and philosophy of the way people in their 70s, 80s, and 90s in this park are to be treated. And not just them. We're visitors here. I am kind of pissed that, well, not kind of pissed, I am pissed that none of the amenities or facilities are yeah. available to us. Um, at least not when we want them, right? So the water's off and when you need to go to the bathroom, we can't. We gotta, we gotta, 
we got to open bottles of water to flush the toilet. It's ridiculous. So, um, so it goes on to say, while addressing safety issues, is it worthy? To, it is worthy to note that the only handicapped entrance door to the hall is locked, making it impossible for handicapped individuals to enter. Now, the entrance to the gate to the park is open from 7 to 7, Monday through Friday, even though the office remains locked 24-7. I've never checked into a park that there wasn't a physical presence on the property. There's nobody here if I have a problem. No. Okay, I've called several times like, oh my God, this isn't working, or oh my God, that's not working, or you can't be serious, you want us to back in that tiny, tiny site? You guys are going to freak out when you see how close this is. So, in addition, people coming into the park are not being required to quarantine for any amount of time, which puts everybody at a greater COVID risk. So, that is true. Um, the good thing is, Bob and I haven't been around anybody, so we feel pretty, pretty confident in sharing space. However, we're super conscious about the distance that we are from individuals. So we try not to get into anybody's space. Um, if we stop and talk, they're in the street, we're up on our, on our site, you know, those kinds of, of distances. This letter goes on to include um, new policies that the residents aren't really even sure if they're, if they're real. Um, there's roughly 280 park models in this park. So if you're an RVer, and your camping via thousand trails, you will be put between two park models because thousand trails only has access to a certain number of sites in this park. Everything else is considered Encore. So Encore owns everything and then does like a sublet to thousand trails. Um, and I booked this reservation via the 1877 number. So I didn't get to speak to the park directly, so I was automatically thrown into a thousand trails category, okay? Um, but 280 park models in this park, that's a lot. That only leaves maybe 30 RV sites, and I'd be stretching it to say 50, okay? Um, the laundry facilities are only open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 8. Today's Sunday. This is the day we want to do our laundry. <laughs> Restroom facilities, we talked about none of the access rooms or potlucks or anything are available. No billiards room, no community room. No community room, no fitness center, and of course, um, limited access to the pool. So I'm going to go take some pictures so you guys can really see what we're up against. Mr. Ron Bruce, who is the VP of Equity Lifestyle Properties West, um, residing at 7310 North 16th Street, Suite 300 in Phoenix, Arizona, will also be getting information from us about what we found when we got here. So not at all happy about this. Um, We've paid in advance, up front, and we feel stuck. So um, hopefully we can get them to open some, some more amenities more often. And let's get this park open. People are going to be coming here by the droves yeah. soon. December is the snowbird time. So yeah. They're going to be really disappointed when they get here and all yeah. they have is a spot to stand in because there's nothing else here there's yeah uh, so thumbs down on no, no encore. management at all in this park absolutely not. yeah no presence mm -mm. so no. um anyway i gotta stop the rant because <laughs> yeah. i can go on and on and on because this is uh, just frustrating as hell our next one will be our next video will be better it'll be more upbeat yeah <laughs> we're gonna talk about our costly repairs oh yeah oh <laughs> all right so i'm gonna end this for now i'm gonna add pictures gonna upload it so you guys can enjoy it and then call on corn tell them what you think all right love you bye
Okay, everybody, sight 16. I'm going to rotate the camera. That's it. Okay, on this side. I'm going to go to the other side of the truck. So that's all they give you for easement. And then now the other side. Oh, isn't our beautiful cougar pretty? <laughs> all right, this is going to freak you out to make slides fit that's it that's the only space look at that my god they can't be serious